Hi, I'm Nick Vitellari and welcome to the Road to Reinvention 2019 conference. And I'm here with Alejandro Martinez, who is the Senior Vice President and CIO of Walgreens and also Global IT Transformation for Walgreens Boots Alliance. Now, the interesting thing, Alejandro, is that that's quite a job, first of all, right? But what I'm really interested in, you've, you've got quite a bit of experience in your total uh, background uh, around transformation. And um, obviously the healthcare industry is ripe for transformation. It needs transformation. Uh, Walgreens and Boots are a, are, are, have big footprints in, in the industry. And so this is a pretty uh, significant issue. So what I'd like you to comment on today with you know, the, the time we have is what should CIOs be thinking about when they're trying to, when they're in the midst of trying to do digital transformation and perhaps even transform an industry? Absolutely. <clears throat> I think something that is important is first you need to define what is going to be your new operating model. Mm. If you think that, that business as usual is the solution in, that will allow you to embrace digital transformation, you need to think twice. So the first topic is you need to, to have a very careful strategy around what are you going to be doing with your, with your team. Mm -hmm. So you need to make sure that you keep the, the, build the capabilities. So in one side, you have the digital transformation. In the other side, you have the legacy environment. And in our case, uh, we believe that the right decision or the right direction is to move into platforms. And platforms by nature are not just new. Mm. You need to combine new and the legacy environment. And at the end of the day, you don't talk about applications, you talk about platforms. Now, something that is quite important is how can you careful, carefully define who is going to be doing what? In the transformation, you need to have different skill sets. Mm. You need to make sure that you have uh, senior architects that you understand digital, that you understand the technology stack, that, you under that understand cloud, that you understand automation, that you understand artificial intelligence. So all stack is completely different of the one that you have in the legacy environment. Mm -hmm. Legacy environment means institutional knowledge. But that, that doesn't mean that when the transformation comes, you are just going to um, uh, have a, a situation where you need to manage an exit strategy for your le legacy environment. If you're thinking that that's the, that's the way, you're wrong. Mm. Because at the end of the day, you're going to be losing the tremendous asset. So in our case, what, what we're trying to do is to make sure that we have a plan for every person. Because at the end of the day, the institutional knowledge matters. And when you're talking about the robustness of running enterprise-grade applications, that knowledge matters. So something that you need to be very careful is ha ha develop a plan for every person. Second, what is going to be your operating model in the future? And the third element is how can you, go the, as soon as the, the new platforms and the new transformation is starting to hit production, how are you going to start to redeploy your resources? The first element is how are you going to be retool your, those mm -hmm. resources to make sure that they play in the new ecosystem? In some cases, uh, you need to have boot camps. You need to make sure that you can train additional skills so you can provide additional skills to your knowledge resources, meaning there are fields that you can do it. You can retrain them to do robotic process automation. You can retrain them to do automation. There are multiple domains that at the end of the day, the, the platform will be benefit for. So if you really combine the new and the old, you can have a, a much powerful information because at the end of the day, it's not just about disruption, it's about knowledge. So in, uh, in, in my view, I request uh, an advice for the CIOs, making sure that you take care of your human resources, about your team, making sure that you build the capabilities in you, make sure that you leverage the expertise of the folks who are helping you in the legacy environment. Wow, fantastic. Well, Alejandro, thank you for uh, sharing some time with us today. And I appreciate that. I mean, that's a, uh, I, what I like about it is very humanistic in many ways, right? Because you're preserving this, as you say, excellent asset. Uh, in the, uh, in the we, we call legacy, but really it is institutional knowledge and institutional skill and, and talent, uh, which you don't want to uh, lose. Um, and then at the same time, uh, you know, allow that to then integrate with the new. Um, and I imagine some of those systems are also going to be feeding information into the new platforms as well. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, as, as I said, if you're starting to create the capabilities at the end of the day, 
um, the, your legacy environment can learn how to really embrace new ways of working. At the end of the day, when the, platform, uh, the transformation starting to hit production, you need to consume APIs or services from the legacy environments. And if you report, retool these individuals and you train exactly uh, ways to work in agile and other methodologies, uh, the symbiosis is extremely powerful because at the end of the day, you're not talking about the transformation, you're not talking about the legacy, you're talking about the new capabilities that you're building and you need both. Yeah, no, brilliant, brilliant. Well, thanks again and appreciate you uh, being here. That's uh, Alejandro Martinez, uh, CIO of Walgreens and also with the uh, Walgreen Boots Alliance. Thank you.